Hi guys, uh, I'm going to talk today about uh, the next step in our uh, what I'm going to call vintage photo uh, restoration project. Um, at this point, you have uh, already found yourself a old photo that uh, you want to restore. Um, you should have uh, already sent it to me for uh, approval and uh, if I haven't gotten back to you yet I will do so uh, very soon most likely today um, and uh, I want to talk about what the next step is here so um, at this point you should have just turn off all my layers here uh, at this point you should have uh, a photo that you've downloaded that is in need of some correction um, in the case of my picture here um, there's a lot of things that are wrong with this picture. It has, um, it's got writing on it. Uh, this is something that people would have done a lot back in the day, uh, literally writing on the negative. Um, I'm not sure how much of this will show on the video, but uh, through this area, there are tons of um, dust spots, uh, fingerprints. That's a water spot right there. Um, right up here, uh, that is a fingerprint from the uh, photographer or printer, whoever printed this. Um, uh, there's some writing on it. Uh, and then throughout the rest of the picture, you see things like dust spots, rips, damage, all kinds of stuff like that. Um, so this picture has a lot of little things wrong with it. So step one is uh, correcting your image. Uh, so that means, or, or I'm going to call retouching. So that means going through uh, and on a new layer, which you can see I have right here, this layer one is my correction layer. How about if I rename that so it makes sense? I'll call this retouch. Um, keep in mind, you can rename your layers. If you just double click the layer name, you can type a new name into it. So this layer is called retouch. Uh, and you can see here that I have um, used that layer for removing uh, as many of the dust spots as possible. It's not completely finished yet, but um, this at least gives you some idea. Uh, so I removed uh, the dust spots, all the little marks, the fingerprints, all that kind of stuff, and the writing. Um, there's still a few more dust spots I haven't gotten to right up here, but um, that's basically that. If you don't know how to use the clone stamp tool, you should go back and watch the previous video that talks about uh, using the stamp tool. I'm not going to go into it in great detail now, but it is on our classroom. Um, but just in case you missed that, and just a, a very, very quick uh, review. Uh, the basic idea here is um, I'm going to have a new layer. Okay, so I'm going to first create a new layer before I do anything else. Turn off all my other layers. Um, I'm going to create a new layer. Okay, I'm going to use my stamp tool. Uh, the shortcut is S. It's right here. Uh, if you don't see the clone stamp tool on your screen, uh, mine is right here. If you don't have that, uh, just press S on your keyboard and that'll bring it right up. Um, you want to make sure that up here at the top you set your source to all layers. All right, The default setting is going to be current layer and it will not work if you have it set on current layer. You have to set it on all layers. Um, and the basic idea, again I'm not going to go into all the specifics of how this works, um, but the basic idea is we're using uh, information from a different area to cover up the things that are mistakes. So like for example, right here I've got a little water spot. So I'm gonna take my stamp. Um, the way that you use this on a Chromebook, uh, remember I want the hardness turned all the way down. Okay, so if, you, if your hardness is not down, uh, just click two fingers and then you'll be able to turn your hardness up and down. We want it all the way to zero when we're using the stamp. Um, so it's a two-step process. You first have to tell it what to copy, and then you copy over that area. So uh, I press the Alt up here. You can also press K on your keyboard. Um, on a Chromebook, you can't use the Alt key, unfortunately. It doesn't work. Um, so I press this little Alt that's up here on the screen. Okay. Um, I want to click it exactly on the spot that I'm trying to copy. So in this case, I'm going to let's do it right here. I'm going to do it right on this line right here. And then when I start... Uh, moving my cursor around, I'm going to put it right on top of that line and cover that area up, just like that. Okay, uh, I'll do it again over here. Press Alt, click it here in the dark area, and then I can just go right over the letters here. 
Okay, um, so that will work very well for larger things um, or things that uh, need to be completely covered up. Um, in the case of uh, things that are more simple, like um, let's say these little tiny dust spots, there's a ton of little dust spots on here. Um, there is an easier way to get rid of those and it's this little guy right here, which is the spot healing brush, spot healing brush. Um, just like with the clone stamp, I have to set my source up here to all layers, okay? Um, but uh, literally all you have to do, and I, I know my cursor is very hard to see uh, in the video, but uh, rest assured, it is there. Um, all you have to do is put your cursor, I'm gonna choose, uh, change my tool here, let me choose, uh, I'm, gonna, I'm working in this area right in here, okay? So I use my uh, spot tool and literally just click it on those dots and you'll watch what happens. It will, um, it looks in the area around the dot to try and figure out uh, what should be inside that circle and then it will uh, just kind of magically um, remove those dots. Now it doesn't always work perfectly. Sometimes you have to do it a few times to get it to work. Um, but uh, when it works, it's extremely helpful, extremely um, convenient. So I'm using this only on those little dust spots. Um, it won't work well for like large areas. So again, this is the uh, this is the spot healing brush. It's right over here. Shortcut is J. Okay. Um, this will not work for like removing, let's say, the the, the text at the top or large um, stains or anything like that. But for just uh, relatively small, uh, simple things, uh, you can quite easily remove them. Um, with a uh, with a spot healing brush just like that okay once you've done it completely uh, you're gonna have literally uh, a perfect photo where all of the uh, writing and scratches and any damage to the photo um, is corrected um, some photos are gonna have more are going to take more work there'll be more things wrong with them um, some pictures are, are don't really have a lot wrong with them and it won't take you as long to do the retouching. Um, but whatever you do, make sure that all your retouching is on a new layer, okay? So just like I have over here, I have a new layer that has the retouching on it. Make sure it's on a separate layer before you do anything else. Um, I'm gonna post another video which is gonna go into the next step which is discussing the, my class is coming in, they're a little loud. Um, the next step is uh, starting the coloring process uh, and I will introduce that in the next video. So you can go ahead and start with the retouching whenever you're ready. Um, and uh, I later on, probably tomorrow, uh, I will post the coloring video uh, about starting the coloring process. And uh, if you have any questions, as always, uh, shoot me an email um, or uh, Gchat, I guess, but email is, is the best. And uh, that's it. Good luck.